Hi there, this is Mahesh here and welcome to the Celestial Quest. In today's video, we will take a look at the North Indian Rashi chart in Vedic Astrology. Rashi chart is also known as birth chart, natal chart, lagna chart or Rashi chakra. The North Indian chart is also known as Venus diamond chart and is based on Sina chakra where signs or Rashis move but the houses are fixed. There are three variations of this chart in Vedic Astrology, as I'm showing you on the screen. The one on the left hand side is called the North Indian chart. The one in the middle is called the South Indian chart. And the one on the right hand side is called the East Indian chart. They all represent the same information, but it is presented slightly differently. There could be a lot of information in these charts, such as houses, zodiac signs or rashis, ascendant or lagna and planets or grahas and their degrees and various other reference points such as arudapadas etc you can see some of this information shown in these charts let's now focus on how to identify houses in the north indian chart what you see on your screen is a north indian chart now the most important thing you, sh you need to remember here is that the houses in the North Indian chart are always fixed. In all the three charts that we saw on the previous screen, the position of the ascendant tells you the location of the first house. But since in the North Indian chart the houses are fixed, the ascendant is in fact placed in the fixed first house location. If you want to know more about the ascendant or lagna, then I have done a separate video on it. So where is the first house position in the chart? It is the diamond shaped rectangle highlighted on your screen. No matter what names, symbols or numbers you see in this diamond shaped rectangle in the North Indian chart, it will always be the first house in the chart. You will always find the ascendant or lagna placed in this house in the North Indian chart. Ascendant or Lagna is typically denoted by abbreviation ASC as shown here. You may find Lagna written in place of Ascendant in some charts and they both mean the same thing. Now let's find out where the second house is placed in this chart. In the North Indian chart, the houses and zodiac signs or Rashis are positioned in the anticlockwise direction. So you need to move anticlockwise to get to the next house. To do that, let's move in the direction of the arrow. The second house is highlighted now. It is the triangle to the left of the first house. This will always be the position of the second house in the North Indian chart. Now let's continue to move in the anticlockwise direction as shown by the arrow and see where the third house is placed. It is the triangle next to the second house as highlighted on the screen. And again, this will always be the position of the third house in any North Indian chart as the houses are fixed in the North Indian chart. Now moving in the anticlockwise direction, we come to the fourth house. It is the diamond shaped rectangle highlighted on the screen. This is the position where you will find the fourth house in the North Indian chart. Continuing on the same way, we get to the fifth house, which is a triangle adjacent to the fourth house. The sixth house is again a triangle adjacent to the fifth house at the bottom of the chart. Moving forward, the seventh house is the diamond shaped rectangle highlighted in the chart. You will always find the seventh house in this position in the North Indian chart. Continuing on in the anticlockwise direction, we come to the eighth house, which is a triangle adjacent to the seventh house near the bottom of the chart. The ninth house is again a triangle next to the eighth house, as you can see on the screen. So by now, you would have got the idea about how the houses are placed in the North Indian chart. Can you guess where the 10th house will be? Yes, you're correct. It is the diamond shaped rectangle highlighted in the chart. Moving on, we come to the 11th house, which is the triangle adjacent to the 10th house. And finally to the 12th house, which is the triangle adjacent to the 11th house. So these are the 12 houses in the North Indian chart and their positions are always fixed. The next thing you need to be aware of about the North Indian chart is that the positions of the zodiac signs or Rashis 
are not fixed in the North Indian chart. Let's take a look. The North Indian chart that you see on the screen shows the placement of zodiac signs or Rashis in the chart. As mentioned earlier, the zodiac signs or Rashis are positioned in the North Indian chart in the anti-clockwise direction as shown by the arrows. I am highlighting the first zodiac sign Aries or Mesha in the chart which is shown here with the two letter abbreviation AR. Aries sign could also be represented with the zodiac symbol for Aries or number one as shown here. Moving anti-clockwise, I am now highlighting the next sign Taurus or Rishabha shown by two letter abbreviation TA next to the diamond shaped rectangle containing Aries or Mesha. Taurus sign could also be represented with the zodiac symbol for Taurus or number two as shown here in the chart. Same goes for the remaining 10 zodiac signs or Rashis. Now as I mentioned earlier the positions of the zodiac signs are not fixed in the North Indian chart. So how do we decide where to place them in the chart? Let's try to understand with the help of the chart on your screen. We'll find out how the zodiac signs have been positioned in the various houses in this chart. We know that the houses are fixed in the North Indian chart and the ascendant is always placed in the fixed first house. So we first place the zodiac sign of the ascendant in the fixed first house. We then place the other zodiac signs that follow the zodiac sign of the ascendant in the subsequent houses in the anti-clockwise direction as the houses and zodiac signs are positioned in the anti-clockwise direction in the North Indian chart. For example, in the chart on your screen, the zodiac sign of the ascendant or lagna is Cancer or Karka. In Vedic astrology, we also call this sign as the ascendant itself. So we can refer to the ascendant in this chart as Cancer ascendant or Karka lagna. Since ascendant is always placed in the first house, we place the zodiac sign Cancer in the first house, highlighted by words first in red color which is the diamond shaped rectangle where you, where you see ASC is written. As I've explained in my video about zodiac signs or Rashis, the zodiac signs have a fixed order. So going by that, the zodiac sign that follows the Cancer or Karka is Leo or Simha. So the Leo or Simha is placed in the house that follows the first house, which is the second house as marked by word second here. And the next sign Virgo or Kanya is in the third house and so on. Remember that in the zodiac, remember that in the North Indian chart, the houses are fixed. So these houses will always be in these fixed positions in the North Indian chart. Going like this, we reach the 12th or last zodiac sign Pisces or Mina which ends up in the ninth house as shown here. Once we reach the 12th sign in the zodiac, we start from the first sign again, which is Aries or Mesha, and we place it in the 10th house as shown here. Continuing on, we reach the 12th sign from where we started. The 12th sign from the Cancer is Gemini or Mithuna, and it is placed in the 12th house in the chart as shown here. This is how the zodiac signs or Rashis are placed in the North Indian chart, starting from the sign of the ascendant. Now suppose if the sign of the ascendant or Lagna was Leo or Simha instead of Cancer or Karka, then the Leo would have been placed in the first house. And following the zodiac sign order, the 12th sign from the Leo, which is Cancer or Karka, would have ended up in the 12th house in the chart. I hope you are now clear that the zodiac signs are not fixed in the North Indian chart and how these are placed in the chart. Now people always have some confusion when they see numbers written in these houses in the chart. So let's see what these numbers stand for. The chart you're seeing on your screen is a North Indian chart for Lord Sri Ram. Let's get rid of the planet names from the chart so that we only have numbers left in the chart and an ascendant. 
where is the first house in the chart any guesses is it where you see number one written or is it where you see number four written we have just learned that the house positions are always fixed in the north indian chart no matter what symbols names or numbers you see in the chart the first house is always the diamond shaped rectangle in the top center of the chart and ascendant is placed here therefore the first house in this chart is where you see number four written i have highlighted it on the screen now where is the second house now as we have already as we already know going in the anti clockwise direction the second house is a triangle next to the first house where you see number 5 written and in the same way the third house is a triangle adjacent to the second house where you see number 6 is written and so on so what are these numbers then these numbers represent placement of 12 zodiac signs or rashis in the chart with one representing zodiac sign aries or mesha two representing zodiac sign taurus or rishabh three representing zodiac sign gemini or mithuna and so on till we reach the number 12 representing zodiac sign pisces or meena so the first house in this chart has a fourth sign which is cancer or karka placed there since houses are fixed in the north indian chart there is no need to number the houses and most of the time the numbers in the chart represent zodiac signs or rashis like in this case sometimes these signs are also represented in the chart with their actual names or two letter abbreviations for example ar for aries ta for taurus etc as shown in the red text on this chart on this next screen or sometimes by the zodiac symbols representing the zodiac signs as shown in the chart in the middle but if that is not the case and you see numbers 1 to 12 instead as shown in this rightmost chart then don't confuse these for houses since house positions are always fixed in the north indian chart finally suppose you see number 1 is written where the first house is in the chart as shown here and 2 is written in the second house as highlighted here and 3 in the third house and so on and if the chart does not contain names abbreviations or symbols to represent zodiac signs then you could be sure that these numbers represent nothing else but zodiac signs and it is just the coincidence that first zodiac sign aries or mesha which is represented by number 1 happens to be placed in the first house in the chart and hence you see number 1 in the first house similarly second zodiac sign taurus or rishabh represented by 2 is placed in the second house and third zodiac sign gemini or mithuna represented by 3 is placed in the third house and so on i hope you are now clear on how to identify houses in the north indian chart and won't get confused when you see numbers that do not match with the house positions That's all from me for today. See you soon in my next video. Thanks for watching.